going on guys got a cool review for you today uh, it's Sunday May 7th maybe I don't know May 10th it's Sunday the first week in May you have a kid time goes by and it doesn't make a difference but enough of that for right now <clears throat> this is a custom Gian that uh, my buddy David Rende I believe that's how you say it, Rend, it matches me, Rend, uh, made, and I'll put the name of his forge in the description, I completely forgot off the top of my head, and, uh, but I will find out and put it in there. It is a Gian with what I call, um, Odin-style flair, or Nordic-style flair. Uh, these are, I believe, bronze, they feel bronze, I think it's bronze some kind of metal uh, wax casting. Absolutely incredible. The handle is pretty cool, it's like a polymer. But I'll tell you, it's tougher than wood. I mean, this thing is unbelievable. He said it could take, uh, I don't even remember the actual number, but it was an ungodly amount of uh, pounds per square inch to actually break it, the material. So, really cool, uh, wrapped in wire. Just absolutely incredible craftsmanship. I saw it and I said I gotta have it. Uh, wood scabbard. Um, I absolutely it's the simplistic of the design is uh, simplicity. Simplicity. Whatever. It's simple and I love I love it. The design of the wood and the finish and all that jazz. Really awesome. Nice dark hardwood finish. The blade itself is a tinker longsword that he customized down um, to fit into a Gian style. Very sharp. Everything I have is sharp. It's got a nice point on it. Definitely uh, could do some damage, but obviously it's you know it's a cutting sword, it's a Gian style. Amazingly light and fast. It's got the Odin eye, it's what I call. I'm calling the sword Odin Guard. Just because I think it fits. I really do. Just absolutely amazing craftsmanship. The double wolf head. At least I think it's supposed to be a wolf. With the ring on it. I just love it. Um, great two-handed feel. Amazingly light and fast sword. Like, I almost can't swing it around in here because it's such a long, fast sword. And I obviously have a small room. But it is a Gian. Oh, the length on this blade is the blade has a length of 30 inches and overall it is just 40 so 40 inches overall with a 30 inch blade so pretty much katana size for some reason it feels longer than that though well, I guess it is about katana size but uh, it does feel longer absolutely I mean this thing I bet you this doesn't weigh two pounds. I mean, just the grinds on this are absolutely incredible. And this is how a cutting sword should feel. But obviously it's a Gian and it's very light and fast. So, I actually got this because this will be my son's first sword when he grows up. So this is his first sword. Technically it's not my sword, as far as I'm concerned. Because it's light and fast, he can start training when he's like, I don't know, 12, 13? I started collecting about 12, so I think that's when I'll probably get him into it. My parents were not that happy about it, though. They did not share my love at the time. We're now for that man, but it's okay. And you know what? For whatever reason, he doesn't want it. I'll keep it myself. But I don't see that happening. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, you could just tell by I mean, it's just a great looking sword. One of the most beautiful um, designs as far as, uh, the, I mean, this hilt is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Has a good feel. I mean, the balance point on here, it's about three or four inches from the guard, I would say. So, just absolutely incredible sword. I'm planning to strap something to the wood and do something on my back. I just haven't 
gotten around to doing it, but it is awesome. I'll put the name of his forge in there. Check it out. Um, he works with a lot of movie props and different stuff like that. So the dude's incredibly talented. Really great guy to work with, too. Um, I don't remember what I think the sword was valued at, like 1500 something like that. So, I mean, it's, which you can easily see. The pictures and video do not do it justice at all. It's absolutely incredible. So, it's just a quick review today. I'm coming off a cold, so I apologize if I sound a little nasal. Um, <sighs> news, news, news. Zombie Tools shipped the 2-Bit Betty. So, that'll be a review next week of that, which will be awesome. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know if there's really any other news going on. Still selling a whole bunch of stuff. Um, anything zombie tools, I'm keeping for the time being. But there's a couple katanas and different knives and different things. So if you guys are interested in any of that, hit me up and uh, I'll get with you. So Actually, I'm selling a zombie tools skeleton knife that is on the chopping block. But uh, for the most part, I'm keeping most of my collection. But uh, selling a few things off select things. So. So hopefully I'll talk to you guys next week. I'm going to try to do one a week now again. Um, it might be just odd stuff. Um, I've got some high-end maker stuff that's coming in. Um, hopefully soon that I can start doing again. Everything I know that I do is high-end, which is sorry about that. I know a lot of you guys want me to do like, you know, CRKT and stuff like that. But everybody's doing that kind of stuff. What's the point? And they do a lot better reviews than I do. So I kind of suck at this, but... I like doing it, so that's all that really matters as far as I'm concerned. Um, you guys have any questions, any comments, message me. And, you know, I would love to hear from you. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, peace out.